and they would keep having people put in new tires as they're at the front of the line. They ended up getting away with like 40, 50 tires. Uh, there was a giant truck out front that they were just chucking them into. It was crazy. I couldn't even believe that they got away with it that long. Welcome back to another episode of Broke Premier, guys. Right now I wanna go down, get started on replacing the struts, and I'll probably talk to you guys again. See you in a bit. All right guys, all the struts are replaced. It looks like the back left was replaced with like this Amazon brand, which I almost bought before ordering the other ones, but everyone said that they blow out within like a couple of months. I don't know if that's true, but I do know when I took that strut out, it moved so easy that it was almost like it didn't really have that much of a purpose of doing its job, if that makes sense. So I don't know if it's something with like the plunger that's inside the strut, but way too much fluid moved way too easily. Didn't really do much of a job. Anyway, it had been replaced probably within the past year. It's not that old. The sticker was still pretty clean. But like I mentioned, I wanted to fix the exhaust leaks. So this is what I'm gonna do. And shout out to the guy from Bill. I'm kind of spacing on his name right now. I feel bad. I watch almost all of his episodes. Anyway, he used this trick on one of his exhausts that he had a leak on. Uh, and basically what it does is you hook up the hose to the out port of your shop vac where it's just pressure there and it kind of sends it back up the exhaust and you find where air is shooting out of all the little holes in your exhaust so that's my plan for right now turn this thing on hopefully find all the spots I'm guessing it's gonna be right up near the flex pipe that I already replaced you'll see where I had to cut the metal to make it tight and really good around the old exhaust pipe I'm guessing right in this spot right here is where I'm guessing there's little holes of air escaping I got it pretty tight when I did it but I I did think most likely that'll be a problem in the future so anyway with all that said I'm gonna get after this thing I'm gonna try to push the air out if I can find it I'm gonna circle it with a sharpie then I'll clean it up with a wire brush and then I'll grab the welder and kind of just spot weld those up so that's my goal I'm getting after it see you guys in a bit
All right, guys, it is the next morning. I ended up welding up the leak. Uh, car sounds awesome, way better than before. It did end up being the holes. There was actually a pretty good one on the left side I couldn't see because of the mount. Uh, but once the mount came off, that hole was, I mean, it was, it was pretty good size. So that thing's all welded up now. Now my goal for the day is to go get tires from the junkyard. Feeling a little rough. The missus was feeling sniffles and a scratchy throat. Now I'm starting to feel a little something. So I'm feeling a little rough, a little dragged out right now, but today's the only day for the tires. So I have to get down there. It's Saturday. Hopefully I can get down there, get some tires, get them mounted, balanced. And still have time to edit this for you guys so hoping we can get everything crammed in uh, at the least we need to get tires and if i can find the stereo for the tucson while i'm down there i'll probably grab that as well uh, along with that little ashtray thing so i don't want to waste any more time i want to get this done before i feel whooped so i'm going to get down there see you guys in a bit All right, guys, I am back from the junkyard. I think you saw that I ripped four tires off a Honda Odyssey, had the perfect size for the car, uh, along with life of tire. Check these things out. You can see how deep they are. I think all together, this was 53 bucks. The nice part was this took me about 15 minutes to remove. And then I kid you not, probably two to two and a half hours to wait in line to have them taken off the rim. I ended up meeting with another gentleman who needed help getting his tires to the top of the hill. So we both shared a cart, then stayed in line together, then bought them together so that we wouldn't lose place in line. But in the end, I ended up waiting in the tire dismount line for like two, at least two, maybe two and a half hours with that guy. Come to find out there was one of these used tire shops there with probably four or five guys and they were at the front of the line and they would keep having people put in new tires as they're at the front of the line they ended up getting away with like 40 50 tires uh, there was a giant truck out front that they were just chucking them into it was crazy I couldn't even believe that they got away with it that long. I thought there was like three people in line in front of me that I couldn't see stuck at the front. They even have a rule that you're only allowed to buy four, but everyone breaks that rule. You just buy them in increments of four. Found that out today because I bought for the other guy. He paid me back so we could stay in line. Anyway, two and a half hours to get the tires, 15 minutes to take them off. It was nuts. I thought I was going to be way ahead of the game. I thought I was going to get a lot done because it only took me 15 minutes. It was a rude awakening. Anyway, from the tire shot that you just saw to the armrest was about two and a half hours difference so i ended up getting the back armrest that i need to replace that one if you see everything else in the door is nice except this big old chunk missing out so i got this piece i think it was like five six bucks and then i also picked up the little cigarette ashtray coin tray whatever which locks and closes so i think this was like another seven or eight bucks i then called tires choice on my way out which was i had a really cool guy the last time on the avalon i think they changed that tire for me for like 15 maybe it was 20 bucks it wasn't much but they did it super cheap for me and then i called expecting to like talk to the good the guy that i talked last time i really liked him instead i got some arrogant little punk there's a lot of words i want to say right there <laughs> he tried to charge me 30 dollars a tire mountain balance 120 bucks and then an additional throwaway fee and then he tried to give me a deal at 90 dollars 
for an alignment. And I get it, we're all in the business, we're all trying to make money, but he was just so arrogant and then he hung up on me. So I ended up calling a bunch of other shops. I found one guy who will do it for 70 and I think I know another one who will do it even cheaper. And that's with throwing him away. So definitely at least gonna go to that guy to get them on. But for now, sunlight's almost gone, the clouds are in the sky. I want to try to get this armrest on as fast as possible and try to get that little ashtray coin thing in the front dash. So that's my goal for right now. I'm gonna get after it. See you guys in a bit. Right, guys i ended up installing the little ashtray thing in the front dash i got the armrest on so with all that said i think that is going to wrap up this episode so i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and i'll see you again next time later guys